to Customs Duty brought to you by the Nigeria Customs Service. I am Eunice Johnson and I welcome you to the program. In today's episode, delegation from Superior Military College, Niger Republic, visits headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service, seeks to further cement synergy with the service in protecting brothers of the two countries from illicit activities. Also in this episode, Nigeria Customs Service to further strengthen collaboration with the Nigerian Army Resource Center in suppression of smuggling through the use of technology. We'll also bring you the Customs Hub where we give you information about activities relating to import and excise duties collection. Welcome once again to the program. A delegation from the Superior Military College in Niger Republic visits the headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service. The mission is summarily to enhance collaboration between the college and the service in curtailing illicit activities along the Nigeria-Niger borders. Leader of the delegation, Colonel Abdurazak Ben Ibrahim, discloses. The theme of our visit is the military cooperation between Nigeria and Niger and transborder uh, insecurity in case of Nigeria. Because on the border line, the customs service are on the first line. That the reason why we thought it would be very relevant to come and exchange with Nigeria Customs Service, to share experiences, to increase security on our borders. Sans des stagiaires dans le cadre de leur future mission. In a brief presentation, Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired, CFR, represented, underscores the importance of national security to national development and highlights the involvement of Nigeria Customs Service in meaningful collaborations to achieve that for Nigeria. Clearly, no government can perform its primary role of securing lives, properties of its citizens and international integrity in the absence of effective border security. National security attainment is one of the core goals of every customs administration. Considering the diverse consequences of borders to national security challenges, the Nigerian Customs Service is actively involved in collaboration with other security agencies to effectively secure and protect Nigeria's territorial integrity. He notes the participation of the Nigeria Customs Service in a number of border security operations, where the service has learned a positive lesson of the benefits of proper coordination amongst security agencies as being key to achieving national security. The culture of Esprit de Corps is much enshrined among security personnel than ever before. The service is part of national security framework involved in protecting the country's security apparatus through active participation in the following border security operations. Multinational Joint Tax Force, operation in the northeast of Nigeria. Tripartite Joint Border Patrol Team Operation, Joint Border Patrol Operations, consisting of eight security agencies, namely Nigerian Army, Air Force, Navy, Police, Immigration Service, Department of State Services, National Intelligence Agency, of which Nigerian Customs Service is the lead agency in the Northwest, North Central, Southwest, Southeast, and South South regions of Nigeria. Joint maritime security operations to secure our maritime domain. The meeting breaks into an interactive session where other members of management, as well as other members of the Nigerian delegation, make contributions, provide an avenue for questions and answers session on the best way to work together towards tackling issues relating to national security and overall development. Meanwhile, the leader of the delegation meets with the Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired, CFR, where pleasantries are exchanged, given the nod for a more fruitful relationship. Commitment of the Nigeria Customs Service to suppression of smuggling, facilitation of trade, boosting revenue generation, and enhancing security of the nation through deployment of workable technology and synergy with sister agencies, amongst others, has continued to wax stronger. 
This is even more so that the service does not relent in reaching out and creating the needed awareness on the progress made and expected benefits of the Nigeria Customs Service modernization project and the need for other agencies to partner the service in moving the nation forward. This time, it is a delegation of the service led by Deputy Comptroller General Seid Ugaladima that has visited the Nigerian Army Resource Center, Abuja, where he has addressed an audience. He highlights the role the Nigeria Customs Service Modernization Project will play in promoting trade facilitation, while also stressing the commitment of the service to further strengthen the already existing relationship between the Nigeria Customs Service and other security agencies. The objectives of customs modernization is to minimize resources spent, including custom clearance time and cost, while managing import and outward goods and vehicles. Achieving efficient, convenient, and economical custom clearance. This will promote trade facilitation, ensure supply chain security, and maintain a free trade system and an open world economy. This will also simplify our interface with other government agencies and private sector stakeholders involved in the trade chain, such as importers, exporters, freight forwarders, carriers. Custom brokers, terminal operators, bank, shipping agencies, and others. This process will eliminate paper based custom procedures with automated processes, thus creating a more efficient and modern custom environment in line with global standards. Responding to Director General of the Resource Center, Major General Garba Ayodeji, represented by Major General K.O. Anibi, expresses delight for the visit and assures of the center's readiness to partner the Nigeria Customs Service. It is a recognition of the roles and the contributions of the Nigeria Customs Service to the economy that we have been invited to come and deliver this lecture uh, to add to the human capacity development of this strategic course. Uh, we are more enlightened now. Our horizon has been broadened in terms of what the Nigeria Customs Service is doing in its modernization effort. And uh, the whole idea, as you said, among other things, is to minimize uh, clearance time uh, through a process that will enhance efficiency, transparency, and effectiveness. This will facilitate trade and the interaction between stakeholders and so have better service in terms of the industry best uh, practices. Uh, on behalf of the DG, uh, is uh, very grateful, and we know that you continue to, to apply us uh, as we go with our partnership. He acknowledges the role the Nigeria Custom Service plays in enhancing national security, especially at the border, which he notes is strategic to the success of the Nigeria Army's mandate of protecting the nation. Participants at the occasion are given the opportunity to seek further clarification on how the Nigeria Customs Modernization Project works and have been given the required information, making them now better informed and keen to seeing it succeed for the benefit of the nation. Joint Border Patrol Team Sector 2 has continued its exploits in suppression of smuggling, as the team has, within one month, recorded interception of items with 327,639,400 naira naira duty-paid value. The items which have been deposited in various government warehouses within the team's area of coverage include 5,883 bags of 50 kg foreign purple rice, 3,580 by 30 liters premium motor spirit, PMS, used tires, vehicles used as means of conveyance, 10 sacks of cannabis sativa, 5 used vehicles attempted to be smuggled into the country, a den gun, and a live cartridge amongst many other items. Comptroller Usman insists there is no undermining any little number of foreign rice being attempted to be smuggled in terms of interception. By the time you arrest uh, 10 of these, 5 of these vehicles makes a truck. 
By the time you know what is happening, before daybreak, they can evacuate more than 10 trucks at a time, at a go. He frowns at smuggling activities generally, but even more so with that of foreign rice, especially viewing the capability of Nigeria and rice production. You are not being patriotic in the sense that you are importing this rice where we can produce. Why indulge in such where we can do it here? So my advice is you better desist. We'll get you, we'll arrest you, we'll take you to court for prosecution. The coordinator, Sector 2, stresses that continuous achievement of great feats in suppression of smuggling, as demonstrated by his team, is not magical. Hence, could be sustained unless the perpetrators desist. When you want to achieve anything, there is no magic other than the dedication, the willingness, and the hard work of your officers. Once they are ready to do the work, we will do it. And we are ready. The team has also made a total of 6,789,500 million naira from auction sales of premium products, amounts which has been deposited into federal government's coffers. Doggedness of operatives at Kebi Command of the Nigeria Customs Service has continued to pay off as the command has sustained its striking performance in both revenue generation and suppression of smuggling. In the aspect of revenue generation, the Customs Area Controller assures that his command is on track as he addresses members of the media. From January to this particular month, we have collected 454 million and we have a target of 1 billion and 50,000. And by the grace of God, we will redirect and, if possible, surpass it. Suppression of smuggling-wise, between 15th April 2023 and 15th May 2023, the command has made a total of 15 seizures with a cumulative duty paid value of 61,287,067 naira, with the most striking of the seizures being 441 sacks of donkey meat and skin contained in a truck. Comptroller Orama Lugo stresses that the seizure of the donkey skin and donkey meat is not discretionary. Section 63 of SEMA empowers us to seize on custom goods that are about to be exported. We are also a signatory to what you call CITES, Convention on International Trade on Endangered Species, Fauna and Flora. Then if you go to export provision list number three and seven, the hide and skin under, under HSQ 4101 to 2000. Then on seven, in the endangered species, including crocodile, donkeys, and so on and so forth. The whole idea is to protect endangered species in the whole world, crocodile, donkeys, and so on and so forth. I may inform you that some plants are even fish like whales, they want the call to toilet also, among the list of these endangered species. The Customs Area Controller reveals that the interception of the donkey skins and meat was not a solo effort, but is grateful for its success. We want to thank the management of Nigeria Customs for creating a fertile ground, a veritable ground for, uh, for us to do this decision. And I want to thank my mem members of my team, the border drill, the police, the uh, strike force, the federal operation, for help, it was a, for helping us to underwent this seizure. Because at a point, the community, even the state government was afraid there would be casualties. But at the end of this day, there was, no life was lost. He discloses that although two operational vehicles got vandalized in the course of the interception, the success of the operation remains memorable. Other items intercepted include four used vehicles, 65 bales of used clothing, 4,925 liters of premium motor spirits, PMS, two vehicles used as means of conveyance, rice and vegetable oil, amongst others. Comptroller Rama Lugo deems it necessary to appreciate the contribution of stakeholders, community leaders, and other well-meaning Nigerians for successes being recorded by his command. April and May 2023 have been busy months 
for operatives at Ogunwan Command, achieving successes as they carry out their mandates of revenue generation, facilitation of trade, and suppression of smuggling, among other functions. Comptroller Bamidile Makindi takes us through the revenue performance of the command within the period under review. Of 34 million, 174,105 uh, naira was generated as revenue, compared to 10 million, 615,618 naira generated in the corresponding period of last year, 2022. There is a differential of 23 million, 558,487 naira, which is a significant increase of 69%. We hope to achieve more, all other things being able. He further discloses that facilitation of trade is receiving the desired attention and is picking up as indicated in the gradual increase in the revenue generation of the command when compared to the previous months. He says the command is taking more stringent measures to further facilitate trade in the command's area of coverage. Suppression of smuggling efforts of operatives of the command within the period under review have led to interception of two brand new Toyota Hires buses. 2022 model, 6,924 bags of 50 kilograms foreign purple rice, premium moto spirits, used tires, and cannabis sativa, among other items, with a cumulative duty paid value of 335,855,989 naira. Comptroller Makindi uses the medium to appreciate contribution of sister agencies to his command's achievements. Let me use this forum to thank our sister security agencies for their maximum cooperation. We have been able to achieve a great deal with their cooperation and team. Also, my sincere appreciation goes to the Customs Controller General, Colonel Ahmed Ali, retired, for creating the enabling environment for our achievements. Regarding the viral video indicating that the Idiroko border has just been reopened, the Customs Area Controller clarifies that it has been reopened since more than a year ago. Four borders are open there. Idiruko, Jibia, Kamba, and Mfum. But as we speak presently, in Nogu State, we have more than six approved borders. In Meko, Ijofi, Ijofi, and uh, we have six of these. It's only Idiruko that is open. Now, the others are still under lock. Comptroller Bamidili Makindi appreciates traditional rulers, patriotic youths, as well as members of the media for their varying contributions to the success of the activities of the Ogunwan Command. The role of effective communication in enhancing understanding of design policies and compliance, the same cannot be overemphasized. In light of this, the Port Harcourt Area 1 Command has organized a sensitization lecture for its stakeholders in order for them to be on the same page with customs as they carry out their business of import and export, which is beneficial to the economic growth and development of the nation. Declaring the session open, Zonal Coordinator Zone C, Assistant Comptroller General Oluboega Peters, stresses the significance of knowledge in enhancing trade facilitation. When you talk about customs operation, the number one thing that should come to our mind is the transparency. And when we are talking about transparency, we are talking about what was declared in our Richard Declaration. Because our Richard Declaration will tell you about integrity and transparency. With that, we can now move forward. Because there is nothing stopping any consignment from leaving the port within 48 hours, if you are doing the right thing. But you can only do the right thing if you know what you're supposed to do. If you know the right code you're supposed to insert in the system. Why do you do The Customs Area Controller of the Command Comptroller Wada Chidi, while assuring the stakeholders of his command's commitment to fruitful partnership with the stakeholders, also buttresses the imperativeness of the training. Customs and the stakeholders are responsible for the smooth running of the economy in the country. 
For example, an importer has find an agent to clear these goods that are, I mean, imported into the country. The agent will have or one, two ways. Either he know clearly, but he wants court orders, or he doesn't know. These are the two things. He end up making the wrong procedure call. The goods may be out within just for theater hours. Unfortunately, they took one week or one month to go out. Who spent the domerage? The importer. Is it an addition to the total money accruals or not? Then at the end, who spent that accruals? Consumer, which is you and me, my father, my mother, my wife, my daughter, my sister. <laughs> Who are the problem then? This is what necessitated. We must extend the little we know to our side. We are ready at any moment, any time. We are ready to partnership with you people so that we can make the procedure better. Presentations are made in the course of the training, covering various aspects of import and export procedure to sharpen the knowledge of the stakeholders eliciting these responses. I have learned that there are so many applications that we do during capturing which was totally in error. And then by this, we have seen that there is need to make sure that things are being corrected. Like the SCG said, you cannot apply anything when you do not know it. So we have known that there are so many things we do not know and today we have known them. And then, as we have known them, it is my prayer that we apply them as we have been taught. It's a good one. And by the special grace of God, I pray with all the promises and uh, all the court corners will stop. We are going for a better Nigeria and we agree that we work with customs to make sure we improve in all that we are here for. While Comptroller Wada Chedi assures of continuous sensitization to keep improving the understanding among customs officers and stakeholders for smooth operations, he calls on the stakeholders at various levels to also key into organizing similar workshops amongst their members. He again looks forward to seeing a time only those who have the knowledge of customs procedure are issued customs license. The Customs Officers Wives Association, COA, Semer Command, has demonstrated commitment of the association to contributing to development of the nation by giving back to the society as they show that they really care. The association has organized an outreach where they have donated medical facilities, food items, beverages, and cash to the Lady Atinuke Oyindamola Orphanage Home in the Badagri community. A visit to the Badagri General Hospital has also seen the association donate same items as well as in a display of care for the less privileged. Chairperson of the Seme Command of the Association, Mrs. Chinelo Dera Nadi, comments. Koa is just about reaching out, empowerment, to empower not just women, everybody in, in particular, everybody that's in need, just to empower women and people. That's what it's all about. And then to help each other, we are like sisters. Sometimes we meet up to bond and then to, you know, just to reach out to people and to help them and then to bond within ourselves. That's what it's all about. And then to support our husbands too. In impacting the Samer Command, the association has renovated the command's gate, fixed a solar street light for the command, renovated the command sentry, and planted 150 coconut seedlings. The most significant contribution of COA to Nigerian Customs Service is that uh, they take care of the home front while we traverse the nooks and cranny of Nigeria enforcing custom laws. The outing they've done today should be sustained, if possible, on an annual basis. They should continue to do that. They should always identify something that is needed within the command to support their husbands and come out and do it. And uh, hopefully, uh, with the caliber of leadership that I've seen today, they will do that. The coconut seedlings planted are expected to start producing fruits for use in the next three years. Hello and welcome to the segment Customs Hub on Customs Duty. This is a segment that summarizes some of that 
activities of the Nigeria Customs Service regarding weekly revenue generation and other related matters. We take a look at pre-arrival assessment report issued and revenue collected from Friday 2nd of June to Thursday 8th of June 2023. The total amount of pre-arrival assessment reports, also known as PAR, issued for the week amounts to 5,274. The Nigeria Customs Service also generated 45,895,477,590 Naira 55 Kobo in revenue for the week. In another development, the Nigeria Customs Service collected the sum of 1 billion 602 million 780 thousand 956 naira 55 kobo from excise duty that is all for this segment of customs hub and that's it on customs duty today remember you can follow all our social media handles currently being displayed on your screen you could also visit our website www.customs.gov.ng for more information till i come your way again next time i am eunice johnson bye